Howdy y'all and welcome back. Super short gear review time. Like extra super short because I don't even have the damn gun in front of me. But as you saw from the title, we're talking about the Performance Center Shield Plus. And frankly, probably just the Shield Plus in general. Damn, it's good, y'all. Now, I am totally, completely biased because I am an M&P lover and Smith & Wesson lover. That's my brand, y'all. But the Shield Plus fixes, like, the two biggest, like, weaknesses of the old original Shield. That being the stupid two-piece hingey trigger and the magazine capacity. So... Smith has brought it up to date with the competition, the 365 and 365XL, and the Hellcat, and now they've got the Ruger, whatever the fuck it's called. So, I mean, you've got options in that category, but to me, there are really only two options. That would be the 365 or 365XL, or now the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus or the Performance Center Shield Plus. And this one that I shot was the Performance Center, which maybe has a, like, slightly better trigger than the, like, base model will. And it's got the fiber optic sights, and this one had the Crimson Trace dot, which is like, meh. But, y'all, it is good. Now, I personally much, much, much prefer the Shield over the 365, and that is mostly due to the grip size. I've talked about this in past videos, but the 365 is like slightly wider, like this way, but it's shorter this way, meaning this way. And I like that the shield is a little bit longer in the grip right here. Even the old original shield that was thinner in the grip, this distance right here allows me to squeeze down and grip the gun better. 365 just moves around in my hands, and I see all y'all putting those, like, Hogue rubber shits on there on your 365s, because you know the damn thing is too small, too. Isn't it? But anyway, I digress. The real magic of the shield, though, to me, is the way that it is sprung. And to me, that makes it superior to the 365 or the XL. It, Smith just got it right on the old original shield. That's why the shield sold, like, millions of of them, it, like, the damn thing just shoots good, as good as a small gun like that is gonna shoot. So, we're talking recoil impulse, not accuracy. Recoil, it, it is pleasant to shoot for a gun that small. And that makes it a gun that you will be more likely to go train with. Like, train enough to be proficient with. So... Look, if you're on the fence between the 365 and the Shield Plus, go to a store, put them in your hand, see which one feels more correct. It should kind of jump out at you. Obviously, if you have a chance to rent or borrow some from a friend and shoot them before you make the purchase, do that, of course. But, like, if you're going to just buy one, like, without even touching it first... Get the shield. You'll thank me later. That's all I got for today. Until next time, be easy, y'all.